Hello everyone and welcome to Ginger Prime. My name is Brian if you're new around here and for returning subscribers, you are legendary Bahamut Dragoons of the Third Order. That's what you get for subscribing by the way, that epic title to rep in game and in the comments of these videos. Today I'm talking about my N Walker prep guide. This is what I'm doing. This is my plan of attack as we get ready to go into the latest expansion for Final Fantasy 14. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Buckle up, strap in, smash like, if you get the opportunity and let's go ahead and talk about what you should be doing now to be ready for N Walker. Now I'm sure as no surprise, the first tip is going to be making sure that you actually have your main scenario complete. You're going to know that it's complete when you see to be continued in the main scenario guide. If you guys don't see your guide, or if you're confused about how you can get to it, you can always go to your system and your HUD layout. This is where you'll see the scenario guide, which you can place anywhere obviously you want. Occasionally, I'll just turn mine to display element. You can also have it auto display uh, turned off once you've completed it, but just note that your scenario guide is going to be a very handy tooltip for you to help guide you where you need to go. So pay attention to that. If it says to be continued, congratulations, you are now ready for Endwalker. That's going to be the real critical thing, because if you are not, everybody's going to be in the new zones and you're going to be still doing story. So if you still have things to catch up on, be sure to do so here and now. Now, overall, when it comes down to character and the jobs and things like that you want to play, obviously, I'm an extreme example. I really enjoy playing the different jobs in this game. But that doesn't mean you have to level all these. Don't see this as a form of stress by any means necessary. But let's go ahead and say, when it comes to it, if you're excited about Sage, if you're excited about Reaper, there's a few things that you can do today to be really ready for the expansion. First and more, uh, Reaper will share gear with Dragoon. I'll show you guys how to exactly get that gear ready to rock and roll here in a second. Uh, also, uh, Healer just makes sense. Healers are going to share... Uh, gear with one another outside of the weapon same thing for uh, dragoon um, but we'll go ahead and talk more about that here in a second also um we're going to talk about currencies one of the things you can do now i'm here in uh in gridania uh next to my uh, free company one of the things i will point you to and this isn't necessarily the only way to get these but picking up aetherite tickets is going to be a huge cost saving measure for you now we do know with n walker there's going to be various tiers of aetherite tickets that are that they're apparently dropping we don't have the exact details at this moment, but be sure to follow us here or at work to game for more of that information as it drops. But overall, it's good to have a handy set of Aetherite tickets themselves. The other thing that you could also be doing easily when you're running the content is being able to turn these into provisioning missions. So that way you can have plenty of seals, plenty of the, the stored up currencies that you will need. For example, a uh, good currency to have, especially when it comes down to uh, your gear is your poetics and your allegory. So I did say, let's go ahead and talk about how we can actually level up our, a dragoon and our uh, <laughs> and our, our dragoon, aka our reaper in this case, or our sage. And that's going to be that the job starts actually at level 70. So that's going to take you into Rogal's Rogal's uh, reach. It's like completely whiff on the naming convention. I'm going to go and teleport out there because that's where level 70 gear can be easily acquired for you. So at this point, let's just run down here and over here to the right. You're going to find the vendor in which you can use your poetics to be able to pick up level 70 healing and level 70 dragoon gear. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into Ida is going to be our vendor. Tombstones of Poetics Disciples of War 2. This is where you're going to actually see the maiming gear. So you can see the hat here. You can see obviously the gear itself. Uh, you're looking for that Lancer Dragoon for Reaper. Obviously, from healer's perspective, you have a little bit more choice, but overall, you'll, you'd will pick up the healer set. Uh, this is going to be eye level 400, starting, obviously, at level 70. Do not pick up the belts. Skip the maiming belts in this case. Uh, belts are going away in Endwalker. You do not need those. Just ignore uh, belts in this case. And go ahead and then continue to pick up the pieces of gear. You won't really have enough with 2,000. I went and purchased the healing set, um, but now I'm looking to pick up uh, the, the set for Reaper, and then I'm going to go into, <laughs> uh, let me head over to uh, the Yulmor, because the Yulmor is going to be where I can pick up the level 80 gear with my Tomes. Now, you can obviously try to boost it up even higher, especially if you're currently capped on uh, like the best in slot gear 
for your current job but overall since uh sage and reaper will hit 80 before stepping into endwalker you can go ahead and start prepping the exchange here so uh Ardenark is the guy that you want to talk to revelation is the current highest tone gear at this time that is all going to change when endwalker drops so just keep that in mind but allegory is currently the uncapped tome that i have so i could go into there and i could actually pick up my level 80 set for dragoon still in that maiming category and yet still wanting to ignore the <laughs> the belts in this case so let me go ahead and just grab my maiming set for you guys here right now make sure to ignore belts just keep repeating that in your head ignore belts grab the pants it does not look like i have enough currently uh but that's okay because there's still plenty of time for me at the time of this recording to be able to farm this up it's important that i'm no longer capped on these currencies because i want to make sure i have those gear sets ready to go and built out for the new jobs as soon as they drop here on the 19th for early access and 23rd for the rest of the world okay let's now talk about our inventories because this is going to be absolutely critical i'm going to head over to my uh, my free company house because this is where I do usually all my management of retainers and self in fact if you guys are watching this you can come hang out with me live when I stream here on YouTube or over on Twitch uh, because we're going to be doing kind of a buy sell keep glamour get rid of etc like if you go take a look at Julianne here if I go to her items tons of gear this is gear from all the way back from 1.0 to today uh, and I got to do some cleanup I got to get like it's got to go everything's got to go so one of the things that you definitely want to make sure that on the day that you step in Endwalker, if you go look at these inventories, you want to have these clean. And there's a lot of different ways we have inventory. We've got our Chocobo saddlebag and our inventory itself, our retainer's inventory. You want to have that as pristine as absolutely possible because that's going to just save you all kinds of time. If when you step into Endwalker, you're sitting here like, oh no, what do I do with all this gear that I've got? What? Do, oh my goodness, because a lot of things will change you just gotta you gotta get rid of it and so you'd probably rather be playing the story than sitting here cleaning up your inventory and now especially if you're done on msq is a really good time to do that you there is a possibility of leveling up other jobs and i don't want to discount that for you as a player but i will say i think it's important at some point between the time of watching this video and n walker's release you find a time to take a break it doesn't have to be for long it could just be for a day go hopefully maybe spend some time with family or friends or something like that maybe play a different game just give yourself uh, the knowledge that the hype will keep you in this game. And the worst case scenario is you burn out uh, because you're just so excited. And a lot of people who've been on a long run getting caught up to now have played this game very heavily. And so I just want to make sure that it's important that you guys take care of your health uh, and your <laughs> and your wellness when getting ready to go into the expansion itself. So we talked about uh, cleaning up uh, retainers and staging for Sage and Reaper. Optionally, optionally, completely optional. You can totally check out all of my Final Fantasy videos here on this channel if interested. Uh, the link will be in the play in the description, so you can just like easily kind of marathon that. And it's going to get you caught up on the jobs, the information, and, and the things that are changing about the game itself. If you're curious, hopefully you, you do. If you do, thank you. And if you don't, thank you for watching this video. Any you know, any and all is support and helpful, so I appreciate that. Um, like I said, you want to schedule a break, but. Uh, what you want to also do is you want to set up time to set your goals for the expansion. So if you're a content creator, just know the numbers are going to be really different on the launch day. They could be up, but traditionally, because of how the story unfolds in these games, they tend to be down. So don't let that bother you, especially if you've been having a good time running around and playing the game and having great engagement and great streams. Just note that when it comes down to it, somebody, you know, it, that might, might change if you've been catching up with the story. Uh, and that's okay but maybe it'll be up i don't know i just want to i just want to let you know because that's typically what we end up seeing here around launch time because how protected the story is however outside of that i just think about what you want to do what your goals are for the game itself if you want to sit down and finish the story or if you want to level up sage and reaper for myself personally i'm going to level up sage and reaper to level 80 before i even bother stepping into the story that way I can have those jobs to level and work on guides. So a lot of the thing that I, that drives me and what I do in Final Fantasy is usually what the community asks of me. They usually would say, hey, like they like my controller guides and things like that. And I thank them for that. But yeah, a lot of it is like, oh, people are interested in Sage and Reaper as a job. And so that's what we're going to work on. We're going to get them some Sage and Reaper uh, controller guides. And then from there, we'll, uh, I'm going to be leveling up other things. So be sure to keep it locked here to the channel 
uh, for things because I opened it up in community polls as well. So those are my goals. And then obviously I want to uh, finish the expansion and really dive into a lot of the uh, of the raids. Pandemonium has me very excited. So I'm very excited to see how that plays out in the long run. Um, also regarding, uh, you know, the expansion itself, make sure you got snacks ready and prepped to go. It's important that uh, when you're when the 19th hits, you're not sitting here have to worry about what you're eating and when you're eating. Uh, take care of yourself. Get ready to rock and roll because it's going to be a marathon. I know that, that for me, I end up having the most lengthy play days on the, uh, on the you know on an expansion release. And at the end of the day, I'll usually end up being very hungry because I haven't actually taken time to eat because I forget, and that's just on me. All right, we talked about eighth right tickets, but I would also recommend in your free company if you're a part of it. Uh, be rocking those points and being ready to have stocked up with buffs. You can choose to take teleportation. A lot of teleportation happens around a patch, um, but when it comes down to the various actions that you have, a uh, heat of battle is a really good one. Something else that you can kind of do, let me jump over here to Gridania real quick. Just burn it through my Aetherite tickets, but I have to, about to have to re-up on those. Um, what you can do is actually stock up on cheap food. Cheap food is incredibly easy to get. I'm going to go to the eighth right here, and it's different in each town. But if we go over here to, uh, I think it's the yeah, Leather Workers Guild, that's going to be right next to the, to the markets. And the markets have vendors that in these vendors, you can actually find really cheap food. So let's go ahead and bounce in here. You can find like boiled eggs, super cheap, barely an inconvenience. Still going to get you that experience buff that 3%. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. If you don't have a lot of money, you don't have to worry about it. You can stock up on a whole stack of 99 of these things. You're going to be really good to go. The other thing about pre-ordering is it gives you an earring in this case that will be a 30% EXP boost to every job level 80 and below. And it actually scales with your level. The previous pre-order was the Aetherite earring. Now it's been Philia's earring. Uh, there's also a, a XP ring that you get for doing the novice network. Uh, we actually have a video on this channel talking about how to power level all of the jobs every possible way of getting xp but outside of that alone you can sit down and say hey what other ways that i can get additional experience that's going to be important so this earring is going to be great uh you can also get one out from eureka but if you're not interested in doing the eureka stuff here you go like you're ready to rock and roll uh with that so uh that's for pre-order which would give you early access should you pre-order the game i would recommend it because the earring alone even if you're not currently con all the way up and ready to step in and walker on the 19th the earring alone is going to boost you up so much, especially for all your other jobs. If you're not like me and you don't have everything at 80, guess what? You can have every, you know, you can apply this earring for so long. It's going to have a ton of value to you for the longest amount of time. And yeah, there's, there's so much there. Now there's other buffs you can get by running like your squadron buffs. The squadrons are able to send out on missions and get additional buffs for you as well. So don't forget your squadrons. There's so much content actually to do in the game. It, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So I'm trying to balance this out with, uh, you know, have fun, be ready. There's so much that you can kind of do uh, to be able to step into Endwalker on the 19th, but also don't let yourself be burned out um, by doing all of the things that I say. So just kind of listen to your heart, listen to your head and make sure that you, uh, that you know it's okay to step away for a couple of days. I personally have been on my break and my break is now over. I'm back to be playing some Final Fantasy and I plan on doing that. You'll see them scheduled here uh, and more. So I appreciate anybody who's been kind of curious and asking like, hey, you still playing Final Fantasy? It's like, absolutely. But all of this is a part of my strategy and that's going to be what it is. I can't wait to step into Summoner. As you can see, I'm just kind of rocking my Summoner for no reason other than the fact that it is changing in Endwalker. And with that, that's just the thoughts that I have. Hopefully you guys enjoy this more casually laid back advice guide to, to offer. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Twitter, but you should honestly just delete Twitter when you get the opportunity. Uh, but if you're going to be stubborn, might as well follow me. Uh, links are all that in the description if interested. And if you guys are looking for a good group to play on, we are on Sargatanis and we play uh, and have an amazing Discord group that you can go be a part of. And the links will all be in the description. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being epic, you legends. I will hopefully see you in my next video. But until then, take care. I just want to say I'm really glad you're feeling better, and I love the videos. Well, I love you too. Michelle.
Shoot for the moon, and so even if you fail, you'll reach the stars. Go for the 100k subscribers.